welcome back. This is Patty Bennett with pattystance.com. Welcome back to another video tutorial. I have a fun solution for you today for giving gift cards. Are you one of those people that gives gift cards at the holidays or for birthdays, graduations, weddings? You probably do. Most of us do give gift cards. So I have a cute gift card holder for you today. I am making this actually for a swap at our Founders Circle event. So I have this little card that says gift card holder, just so that the recipients know that you're supposed to tuck a gift card in here. And then I have this cute little to from that's tucked inside of there. It says, oh, what fun, to from. So this one obviously is decorated for Christmas time, but you could do this for any time of year or any occasion. Let me show you how easy this is to make. I made these gift card holders out of the craft gift bags. These come in a package from Stampin' Up! They're just called craft tag-a-bag gift bags. You get 10 in the package. I took one out and I used our Simply Scored board I tucked the square end up here into the corner, used the stylus that comes with it, and I always use the larger stylus end just because I tend to have a little bit heavier hand when I score. If you have a lighter hand, you can probably use the finer end and not risk ripping through the paper. And I just scored at the three inch mark. So you just pull your stylus down and that gives you a score line there. So you could do this really at any dimension. I just chose to do three inches. So then your next step is to use your bone folder and you just flip the end up right there on the score mark and then you just crease it. So now do you see where I am coming here with the pockets? I have two different pockets now. Isn't that kind of fun? And then I chose to decorate it with Christmas paper. Like I said, this is for a Christmas gift card idea. You can do this with any paper, any occasion. And I cut my strip to two inches tall. You can cut it really to any dimension. I just wanted it to fill most of this smaller pocket area with a little border top and bottom. And then you can leave it at 12 inches wide, but I actually cut off about an inch and a half, and I'll show you why, just for the way that it wraps around. So I used my Fast Fuse adhesive, and I just put a little strip there. Remember, make your check mark with your Fast Fuse so that it breaks that and you don't get those gummy strings. And then I just put this piece almost to the midway mark. I wrapped this around and then I lined it up over here and I used my bone folder to crease those. Now the reason I have my seam in the front is that it's going to get covered with my embellishment and that way you don't see a seam on the back. Then to make the embellishment, I used this great new stamp set. It's called Oh What Fun, and it is a lot of fun. It has 17 pieces, so this gives you a lot of versatility with your Stampin' Up! projects. Tags, gift cards, Christmas cards, you name it. This, this is really going to go a long way because of all the versatility in this set. And I chose to mount more than one stamp onto my block. So I have Do Not Open Till Christmas and this little curly cue on there on the same block because that's going to be a lot faster to make my tags. I'm using Whisper White cardstock from Stampin' Up! and I have my real red ink pad to stamp this tag. And I just do several light taps, especially with these firm foam, firm foam ink pads. You don't want to push down. And then I'm stamping on the Whisper White. Hold it a couple seconds just to get a good crisp image. And there I have a beautiful image that I'm going to punch out with my circle punch. 
I also have red glimmer paper that I am going to punch out with my scallop. This is the 2 and 3 8 inch scallop punch. So that is going to go behind my circle. And my circle is a 2 inch circle punch. That is what I'm punching out this stamp tag with. Woo! Love it when it just flies like that. So that's going to be my embellishment. Before I adhere that embellishment, I am going to put my quarter inch real red cotton ribbon on the gift card holder just to dress it up a little bit. You could also use another piece of designer paper with a contrasting pattern. You could use any ribbon, baker's twine, doesn't really matter what you use but I just thought it was kind of pretty to dress it up with something else at the top there. Use my great craft scissors. I love these. I call them my ribbon scissors. They're fantastic. So that just dressed up sort of the top there. And then I am going to use my Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of my glimmer piece. You could do four. You could do more doesn't matter. And then that goes right over that seam. Isn't that great? Pretty sneaky, right? And then I'm going to use a few more dimensionals on the back of my stamped piece and that will stick nicely to my glimmer paper. Do not open till Christmas. And there we have it. It's ready. It's ready for you to slip in your gift card here, or in this case, I'm just going to slip this note in so that the recipient knows it's a gift card holder. And then I have stamped these on real red. And you can see here that I have mounted all of those pieces onto my block. So it makes stamping this super quick because I just did it in black. So that way it can all be stamped at once. And since you're probably intrigued about these cute corners up here, let me just show you that. This is a new punch from Stampin' Up! in the Holiday Catalog, and it has three different punches in one punch. It's the Curvy Trio Punch. And what I did was I just punched the top two corners by pushing this into this edge. And I did that on both of the top corners to create that fun scallop. Isn't that cute? I love that. Let me just show you the other two. We'll just use this as a scrap here. So on the other side, you get this really cool corner. Isn't that neat? I like that. Especially that would be cute at the top of a tag. And then this third side is just a slot. And so if you put your paper in, it makes a slot. And you could use that for ribbon or some kind of a closure. But the cool thing is, if you have wider ribbon, you can slip it in and punch. And then you can move a little to the left and a little to the right. And that gives you a wider slot. So if you have wider ribbon, than just this little quarter inch piece, you can have a bigger slot there for wider ribbon. So this is going to be a really fun, versatile punch. These are the cute wooden snowflake embellishments that I added to the front of the gift card holder just to give it a little extra pizzazz. They are called Snowflake Elements, new in the holiday catalog, and they are really super lightweight wood, different sizes, different designs. And I used the Tombow Multi-Liquid Glue for those. All I needed to do was to just put a tiny little dollop on there for the center. And then I just tucked this a little bit under the glimmer paper and added it. And super easy, cute little embellishment. And that just sort of wrapped up the whole presentation. Now you could also add something like a rhinestone or a candy dot to the center or even on the tag. You know, you could dress it up even more. So lots of ways to customize these. 
Hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to visit me up here at pattystamps.com where you can purchase all the supplies you need to make your own gift card holder. Have a great day. Bye.